Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the graphs of the inverse trigonometric functions, tan inverse x and cot inverse x. First of all, let us discuss the graph of tan inverse x. Now, the trigonometric functions are in general not 1, 1 and 2. Therefore, their inverses do not exist, but if we restrict their domains, then they become 1, 1 on 2 and hence we can have their inverses. Now let us define a function f from set of real numbers r to the open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 by f of x is equal to tan inverse x now here we have restricted the domain of tan x to open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Therefore, the domain of tan inverse x is the set of real numbers that is the possible values of x for the graph of tan inverse x and tan inverse x is defined in the open interval minus infinity to infinity. So we can write that the domain of tan inverse x is the open interval minus infinity to infinity and the range of tan inverse x is the open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now let y is equal to f of x is equal to tan inverse x that is let y is equal to tan inverse x. Now let us draw the graph of y is equal to tan inverse x. Now y is equal to tan inverse x implies x is equal to tan y. Now for the different values of x and y, first of all let us draw a table. Now we have x is equal to tan y. So for y is equal to minus pi by 3, x is equal to tan of minus pi by 3, which is equal to minus root 3, which is equal to minus 1.73. Therefore, for y is equal to minus pi by 3, x is equal to minus 1.73. And now, for y is equal to minus pi by 4, x is equal to 10 of minus pi by 4, which is equal to minus 1. So for y is equal to minus pi by 4, x is equal to minus 1. And now, for y is equal to minus pi by 6, x is equal to 10 of minus pi by 6, which is equal to minus 1 by root 3, which is equal to minus 0 0.58. So for y is equal to minus pi by 6, x is equal to minus 0 0.58. Now, for y is equal to 0, we are getting x is equal to tan 0, which is 0. So for y is equal to 0, x is equal to 0. Then for y is equal to pi by 6, x is equal to tan pi by 6, which is 1 by root 3, which is equal to 0 0.58. So for y is equal to pi by 6, x is equal to 0 0.58. And then... For y is equal to pi by 4, x is equal to 10 pi by 4, which is 1. So for y is equal to pi by 4, x is equal to 1. And now for y is equal to pi by 3, x is equal to 10 pi by 3, which is equal to root 3, which is equal to 1.73. So for y is equal to pi by 3, x is equal to 1.73. Now, for drawing the graph of y is equal to tan inverse x, we will plot all these points 
on the graph. Now, these are the various values of x and these are the corresponding values of y and here y is equal to del inverse x. Now, in the graph, we have taken 10 small divisions is equal to 1 along the x-axis and 5 small divisions is equal to pi by 6 along the y-axis. Now let us plot the cost point on the graph that is minus 1.73 minus pi by 3 on the graph. So this is the required point on the graph. And now we will plot the next point that is minus 1 minus pi by 4 on the graph. Now this is the required point on the graph. Similarly we will plot all the points on the graph. So we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now on joining all these points we are getting the graph of y is equal to del inverse x. Now here you can see that as y increases monotonically from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x increases from minus infinity to plus infinity. And also you can see that tan inverse 0 is 0 and tan inverse x is defined in the open interval minus infinity to plus infinity. And also you can observe as y that is tan inverse x tends to pi by 2, x tends to infinity. That is as this curve which is the curve of y is equal to tan inverse x. So as tan inverse x tends to pi by 2, x tends to plus infinity and as tan inverse x, that is y, tends to minus pi by 2, x tends to minus infinity. Now let us discuss the graph of cot inverse x. Now let us define a function f from the set of real numbers r to the open interval 0 to pi by f of x is equal to cot inverse x that is we have restricted the domain of cot x to the open interval 0 to pi therefore the domain of cot inverse x is the set of real numbers that is the possible x values for the graph of cot inverse x and cot inverse x is defined in the open interval minus infinity to infinity. So we can write the domain of cot inverse x is the open interval minus infinity to infinity and the range of cot inverse x is the open interval 0 to pi that is the value of f of x for the graph of cot inverse x is greater than 0 and less than pi. Also, as x tends to infinity, cot inverse x tends to 0. As x tends to minus infinity, then cot inverse x tends to pi and also cot inverse 0 is equal to pi by 2. Now let y is equal to f of x is equal to cot inverse x that is let y is equal to cot inverse x. Now let us draw the graph of y is equal to cot inverse x.
Now we have y is equal to cot inverse x. So this implies x is equal to cot y. Now for this equation we will find the various values of x and y. For this let us draw a table. Now we have drawn a table. Now we know that the range of cot inverse x that is the range of the inverse trigonometric function cot inverse x is an open interval 0 to pi. So we will choose the various values of y in between 0 and pi. So for y is equal to 5 pi by 6, x is equal to cos 5 pi by 6 which is equal to minus root 3 which is equal to minus 1.73. Now for y is equal to 3 pi by 4, x is equal to cot 3 pi by 4 which is equal to minus 1. Now for y is equal to 2 pi by 3, x is equal to cot 2 pi by 3 which is equal to minus 1 by root 3 which is equal to minus 0 0.58. Now for y is equal to pi by 2, x is equal to cot pi by 2 which is 0. Now for y is equal to pi by 3, x is equal to cot pi by 3 which is 1 by root 3 which is equal to 0 0.58. Now for y is equal to pi by 4, x is equal to cot pi by 4 which is 1. And then for y is equal to pi by 6, x is equal to cos pi by 6 which is root 3 which is equal to 1.73. Now for drawing the graph of y is equal to cos inverse x, we will plot these points on the graph. Now in the graph we have taken 10 small divisions is equal to 1 along the x-axis and 5 small divisions is equal to pi by 6 along the y-axis. Now let us plot these points on the graph. First of all we will plot the point minus 1.73 5 pi by 6 on the graph. So this is the required point on the graph. And now we will plot the point minus 1, 3 pi by 4 on the graph. Now this is the required point on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all the points on the graph. So we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now on drawing all these points, we are getting the graph of y is equal to cot inverse x. Now here we know that y decreases monotonically from pi to 0 as x increases from minus infinity to plus infinity. And cot inverse 0 is equal to pi by 2 And cot inverse x is defined in the open interval minus infinity to plus infinity. And also we observe that as x tends to infinity, cot inverse x tends to 0 and as x tends to minus infinity, cot inverse x tends to pi. That is, this is the line that is the x-axis whose equation is y is equal to 0 and this is the line whose equation is y is equal to pi. And from the curve we can see that as x tends to infinity, cot inverse x that is y tends to 0 and as x tends to minus infinity cot inverse x that is y 
tends to pi. So this is the graph of y is equal to cot inverse x. And in this session, we have learned about the graphs of y is equal to tan inverse x and y is equal to cot inverse x. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.